Yep. Um, welcome to our fifth rather delayed video. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we just had something to eat. <laughs> demonstrated by Jesper. But first, let's look at uh, take a look at the coffee chart. Um, Higher. Uh huh. There. Okay. Uh, as you can see here. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, but kind of stopped drinking coffee and uh, don't really know if he's still alive. Are you alive? Barely, <laughs> <laughs> barely. Uh, and uh, Pierre, he just kept on going and I kind of... Yeah, my coffee drinking is more or less constant. I guess. Yeah, and I kind of gained on him. So I think we had about uh, uh, more 20, or equal 20 cups each or <laughs> something like that. <laughs> okay, Feels but, like it. Uh, but on to something a little more interesting. Um, <laughs> We're going to talk about why and how we were going to in implement it like we were. Um, the special thing about this application is that it's more or less completely powered by Flash and then by jQuery, which is a, a, a kind of JavaScript. And that means that we, we actually don't do any normal uh, post gets on on uh, on Baco, but uh, just uses uh, AJAX and some XML feeds back and forth to use this kind of data. Uh, would you guys explain, Johnny? Uh, yeah, as you can see here, um, we're trying to uh, create a, a full screen application, which is more or less uh, a full screen map uh, powered by Flash, and then... Uh, the red area is, yeah. is JavaScript yeah. powered. We're going to pull a, a frame over the Flash uh, movie and include the all the feeds in there, uh, more or less, um, and we actually have uh, almost uh, accomplished that. We have uh, at the moment we have uh, these items here, 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 and here, all set up with with our two feeds. And what we're working on now is getting this one working, which is uh, a bubble for each of the items, saying, "Hey, I blog, read my blog here, and I listen to music, listen to see what I listen to, see my pictures, etc." Mm. Et which will link from the flash file over to this jQuery element here, which will then fetch the feed or fetch the data in Umbaco. Um, so we are use more or less just using Umbaco for data storage and for generating these kind of feeds, and then of course using uh, Umbaco for its its member logic mm. um, as the, as the base for this kind of member logic. So we can also control what uh, kind of possibilities each member have. If you have support possibilities, administration, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But but 99% uh, of the application is powered by Flash and uh, JavaScript. So we don't have a lot of pages and we don't have a lot of post get action going on. Actually. It's actually quite simple. Yeah. And, and it's, it's been very simple to work with because because of Umbago's very easy to handle XML yeah. as a format. Yeah. yeah. And actually, the Yahoo uh, Flash API API has been extremely easy to to implement. So it's it's more or less just regular Flash uh, using uh, ActionScript uh, 2.0, and uh, yeah, it's quite simple. Yeah. So, do you have anything to add, Isper? No. Okay, you didn't get no. your talks. <laughs> 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 no drugs. Okay. Well, that was fine.